students welcome to n nelson english school standard 4 subject science today's topic is how plants survive drilling part 3 so let's start drill b give reason for number 1 why coconut and palms grow in coastal areas answer coconut and palms grow in coastal areas because they are adapted to survive in salty water and prefer our as with high rainfall coconut and palm grows in coastal areas because they are adapted to survive in salty water and prefer as with high rainfall coconut and palms grow in coastal areas because they are adapted to survive in salty water and prefer as with high rainfall number 2 why are some plants non green answer some plants like mushrooms toadstools and moles are non green because they do not have chlorophyll answer some plants like mushrooms toadstool and moles are non green because they do not have chlorophyll some plants like mushroom toadstool and moles are non green because they do not have chlorophyll number 3 hydrilla and tape grass are put in fish aquarium answer hydrilla and tape grass breathe through their body surface since they absorb carbon dioxide in water so they are usually put in fish aquarium hydrilla and tape grass breathe through their body surface since they absorb carbon dioxide in water so they are usually put in fish aquarium hydrilla and tape grass breathe through their body surface since they absorb carbon dioxide in water so they are usually put in fish aquarium question number 5 a answer briefly number 1 write the characteristics features of plants that grow on mountains answer plants that grow on mountains have the following characteristics features number 1 these plants are usually tall straight and have a cone shape number 2 they are usually flowerless and have seeds inside them number 3 the leaves of this tree are needle like and have a waxy coating to prevent any damage from snow example pine the other and fir answer plants that grow on mountains have the following characteristics features number 1 these plants are usually tall straight and have a cone shape Number 2 they are usually flowerless and have seeds inside them. Number 3 the leaves of this trees are needle like and have a waxy coating to prevent any damage from snow. Example pine, the other and fir. Answer plants that grow on mountains have the following characteristics features. These plants are usually tall, straight and have a cone shape. They are usually flowerless and have seeds inside them. The leaves of these trees are needle like and have a waxy coating to prevent any damage from snow example pine the other and fir Number 2 how do desert plants save water answer to save water desert plants have the following features number 1 they do not have any leaves or have very few of them photosynthesis is thus carried out by the green stems Number 2 most plants have thorns which reduce loss of water number 3 they store water in the stems which becomes fleshy answer to save water desert plants have the following features number 1 they do not have any leaves or have very few of them photosynthesis is thus carried out by the green stem number 2 most plants have thorns which reduce loss of water Number 3 they store water in the stems which becomes fleshy answer to save water desert plants have the following features number 1 they do not have any leaves or have very few of them photosynthesis is thus carried out by the green stem number 2 most plants have thorns which reduce loss of water number 3 they store water in the stems which becomes fleshy Number 3 how are plants useful to us answer plants are very useful to us every part of plants like root stem leaves flowers and fruits are useful to us number 1 we all depend on plant for food 
Number 2. Plant give us many products like fruits, vegetables, oil, cereals, nuts, spices, medicines, fiber. Number 3. Plants give us oxygen for breathing and in return we give plants carbon dioxide. Answer. Plants are very useful to us. Every part of plants like root, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits are useful to us. We all depend on plants for food. Plants give us many products like fruits, vegetable oil, cereals, nuts, spices, medicines, fibers. Plants give us oxygen for breathing and in return we give plants carbon dioxide. Answer. Plants are very useful to us. Every part of plants like root, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits are useful to us. We all depend on plants for food. Plant give us many products like fruits, vegetable oil, cereals, nuts, spices, medicines, fiber. Plants give us oxygen for breathing and in return we give plants carbon dioxide. Thank you.